Hello! It's, it's me again. After um, how many months has it been? About four. Um, so I'm here again. What, what can I say really? Uh, community centre have had me uh, locked in cupboards and things and uh, um, and, and stuff and um, yeah my, my son escaped a couple of times. Remember Hello. him? Yeah. He, that was him from behind the camera and um, yeah so so that's it really um, I suppose I better start this uh, this lecture firstly apologizing for to my fans that in one of my videos I did actually say that I didn't care about you but that's not true uh, you're, you're you're in very important part and without you I could not carry on because uh, these videos are very costly cost me millions of pounds and if it wasn't for you and your lack of donations I would die starving which I have many times but thank goodness for resurrection anyway um, so I've apologized to my fans and now I've got to remember the name of the person that I didn't, <laughs> make, that didn't, make, didn't mention last time because I've already forgotten, because I've got a really bad memory. That's possibly because I've died and been reborn several times, as I've just said, even though that was a lie. But there you go. We, we have to make excuses for for being completely forgetful. Andrew Barringer. And so, oh, it's just come to me in a flash of, of knowledge and wind and stuff. Um, Andrew Barringer. Or Bollinger. That sounds better because Bollinger is a very nice champagne, I believe. Yeah, so there you go. Um, so today, um, I thought I'd do a, a little talk about biscuits. We all like them. We use them a lot. Some people dunk them in tea or coffee, especially this type. This type gets dunked a lot. See, that one. That's a chocolate digestive that. Um, I'm not going to say what make it is for copyright reasons, might get into trouble, but it, um, all I can say is it's, it's chocolatey and yeah, it's very tasty as well. Yeah, it's very hard to talk and have biscuit in your mouth, so I'm going to pop that down. I'll finish that later with a cup of tea. <laughs> anyway, um, moving swiftly on as we do. Um, do you know, I haven't even checked, it. Am, am I in focus? <laughs> he, he, he's no idea. The person who's operating the camera is blind. I've got Stevie Wonder <laughs> operating the camera who can't see anything. Anyway, biscuits, we've digressed again. We're always digressing in these videos, but that's why you like them. Don't you? And the, that face I keep doing, I think we all like that one, or perhaps that one. Or well, anyway, um, or that one. I've regenerated <laughs> with my glasses. Uh, no, that's something else. We'll cut cut that bit out. Anyway, right, uh, biscuits. There's these as well. Now these you don't dunk in tea because if you dunk these in tea probably just fall apart and then you get a big big brown thing in your cup a bit like if you'd had a poo in it which wouldn't be good would it they're very nice though those uh, and there's the other type that the you know those they're they're double chocolate and the other ones are molten caramel so if you put them in the microwave you get a thing like a volcano it's mulch <laughs> I'm just choking on bits of biscuit now. Um, so uh, I think I think um, what else could we say about biscuits? Um, you can you can eat them. I think we've established that, and they've got chocolate on them. Unless they're not chocolate biscuits, in which case they haven't got chocolate on, as you would be aware. Um, what else can we do with biscuits? Uh, you can, I suppose, if you've got a kite and it wasn't heavy enough and, and therefore it was rattling about a bit too much in the wind, you could tie a, 
that you know a, a rocky biscuit to it because that will weight it down a bit in fact you know how kites have several places where the strings attach well what you could do is tie a biscuit to those places and then that would I think make it fly a lot better and also you could if you, if you were if you went to the swimming baths and uh, when you were at the, at the swimming baths um, there were peop loads of people in the baths and you thought well I don't want to get in with all, all those people what you could do is unwrap the chocolate biscuit and throw it in and people would think that somebody had done a poo in the, in, the, in the swimming pool and they'd all go Wah! and they'd run away and then you could swim on your own, couldn't you? And take the biscuit out, obviously, before it all melts and, and makes the pool brown, which wouldn't look good. So, uh, there you go. Multitude of uses, biscuits, really. Um, other than, you know, be, being eaten, which, which is the main purpose, really. So, uh, what else can I say? I don't know what, whether the uh, cameraman's got any uh, other ideas of what I could say. Um, is is looking at me blank, which is uh, his usual expression, really. When <laughs> I um, so there you go. Um, uh, apologies again for um, for not doing videos before, but I am running out of things to say. Uh, not that you could tell from this one, of course. Uh, I you know I'm full of ideas. Um, so that's it, really. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. Uh, God bless. Uh, may the force be with you. Um, and other greetings. And there's a cat just popped in, and don't know what she's doing. Anyway, um, oh, I, uh, there we go. Yeah, look, there's a cat. Right, and now I'd like to say um, before I go. The customary word, bollocks.